fucking hit it! It's no secret that the black and thrash metal genre, and even black metal in general, is one of my favorite genres. Over the years, the no fucks given, controversial genre has always been at the top of my list. Not because of the controversy, because I really enjoy the music. It's right up there next to traditional heavy metal and new wave of British heavy metal, as well as old school death metal and thrash. In today's review, I want to check out a band that I've really enjoyed a ton over the years, and that is Destroyer 666. And I want to review their 2016 album, Wildfire, which was released by Season of Mist. Now, Destroyer 666 formed in 1994 as a solo project of vocalist and guitarist K.K. Warslet following his departure from the black metal band Bestial Warlust. The band is originally from Melbourne, Australia, but relocated to Europe around 2001. Wildfire is the fifth full-length album by Destroyer 666, and it's the most recent. The band has released four EPs over the years, a demo in 94, and three singles. The lineup on Wildfire has K.K. Warslet on vocals and guitar, Parasite on drums, Felipe Plaza on bass, and R.C. on guitars. There are nine tracks on this album, and they are Traitor, Live and Burn, a instrumental track, Artiglio del Diavolo, Hounds at Ya Back, Him to Dionysus, Wildfire, White Line Fever, Die You Fucking Pig, and Tamam Should. The album starts out with Traitor, and holy fucking shit, it kicks you right in the fucking nuts, just right then and there. With a nice intro opening and a high-pitched scream, a very good way to start out this album. And I feel Traitor is a very catchy song as well. Which is funny saying a black and thrash metal band is catchy, but that can happen a lot. The guitar work ranging from the rhythm guitar to the solos are damn good. I love the fucking drum work as well in this song. Now, the first song I ever heard from this album was Live and Burn, and holy shit, I loved it right from the start. Ranging from how the song starts out to the guitar work, and of course, another song that it becomes really catchy right away, especially with the lyrics. at your back slows it down a little bit in the intro but picks up and has a nice flow to it definitely not a ton of speed in this song which is fine it helps pace the album a bit and i really enjoy it a lot once again great guitar work great drumming bass the solos are fucking awesome no complaints Oh, 
And then there is another favorite of mine on this album, White Line Fever. Now you would probably think, oh, this is a Motorhead cover. A lot of people love to cover Motorhead. Well, it's not. This is actually their own song. Now the song starts off with a nice, well-done intro and a little bit of solo work. And then the song speeds up a bit. And of course, lyrically, a very catchy song. Wildfire by Destroyer 666 is a fucking amazing album. Everything about it is just perfect. I'd almost say it's the band's best. And I have felt that they've really never released a horrible album. Some are better than others, and some kind of lack a little bit here and there. But this album fucking rules. When it comes to the guitar work, both KK Warslut and RC just kicks fucking ass on this album. Felipe's bass work is very damn good. And of course, Parasite's drumming is badass. Fucking love it. Now, when it comes to the production on this album, I feel is very well done, and it seems a little bit polished, but it still has that black metal vibe to it, and that's really badass. And it's kind of funny. A lot of black metal fans hate when an album is polished. And I get it to a point they like the raw style to it. But at the same time, I think if you polish it up a little bit in some spots, it still can have that raw sound and be fucking amazing. If you love black metal, thrash metal, and the combination of both of them together, definitely go buy Wildfire by Destroyer 666. It's very much worth it. I hope you enjoyed this Metal World Order review. Thanks for watching. Wildfire! Wildfire!